Welcome Smackers, Kevin Smack here. Today we're going to be talking about streamer mode. This is going to be a quick video because there has been an update in version 7.3 to streamer mode. So I just want to go over it and explain it to you so you know everything that's going on and you can maximize your stream if you are streaming Fortnite or if you just want to stay anonymous. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and hit these three lines up here like usual and then we're going to go ahead and choose settings. Once we choose settings, we're going to choose the gear here. And then we're going to scroll down just a little bit till it says anonymous mode. So anonymous mode, basically what that is, is that makes it so people do not know who you are. They will not see your name in game. The only way anyone can get your name is through reporting. It may still hide your name when reporting, but the people that receive the report will have your name. So if you're a streamer and you're just starting out, I do not recommend to have this turned on because you want people to know your name. You want to get your name out there, you know, networking. The more you can, the better your streams go. So I would definitely leave this off. Hide other players' names. Now this is a little different. If you're having problems with people going through and stream sniping you or causing you trouble, then you may want to turn this on so they don't get the recognition if they stream snipe you, it won't say their name. So basically no one knows who they are, no clout for them. So I would go through and decide if you need this on or not. I'm going to keep this off because I don't mind seeing other people's names. And I kind of like to know who can eliminate the smack, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and keep this off, but it's up to you. If you are being harassed and stuff like that, it is a good thing to turn on. And then also on top of that, if you are being stream sniped, they have the hidden matchmaking delay. Here you can go ahead and select a random number all the way up to 60 seconds. And what that's going to do is it's going to randomly add these extra seconds into your queue. So if you hit start, it'll wait another 18 seconds or so till it actually starts. That way, if people know your stream delay and they get it figured out and they hit it at the exact same time, they still won't end up in that game with you because the game waited an extra 18 seconds, which is awesome. But keep in mind, this is going to slow getting in the games down up to 18 seconds if you would select 18 seconds. So I'm going to keep it zero because I don't mind stream snipers. <laughs> Some days I just encourage them just for fun. You know, I feel like it makes me better because they're coming after me. And yeah, I don't know feels good so this has recently changed if you had streamer mode turned on it did turn off with this update so you're going to want to go through here and change whatever you like from what i just said again real quick anonymous mode if you want people to see your name when you take them out leave this on keep in mind that we'll post it in the corner so people will see if you're in their game if they know what skin you're wearing they may target you at that point Usually the bigger names are the ones that'll have this problem. Hide other players' names. If you don't want people to get recognition that kill you or eliminate you, that will stop that. And again, the matchmaking delay is available. Guys, that's it. Real quick video. Want to let you know about it. I hope you enjoy the new thing. I like it a lot because now the pro streamers can hide other people's names and still show theirs. So if Ninja takes me down, he may leave it on the show that he took me down. But if I take him down, chances, he uh, will probably have my name hidden because I'm a star. <laughs> all right, guys, that's the video. Thanks so much for coming today. I appreciate it. If this helped at all, please use the code KevinSmack.tv in the shop. It does help out a lot. I use those funds to upgrade my equipment. I really want to get a better camera. So the more people that use that, the quicker we get some higher quality videos, even higher and higher. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Smack out.